It might interest you to know that Shiba Inu has been showing some exciting signs in recent times. From all indications, it looks like Shiba Inu is ready for another rally, which is what we'll be discussing in this video. We'll also be talking about what you can do to prepare for it. So, make sure to watch this video till the end. To start with, a huge ship whale recently moved about 24.9 trillion ship tokens worth about $276 million out of an exchange wallet. If you watched yesterday's video, or you just have an idea of how the crypto market works, you know that moving tokens out of an exchange is usually a good thing, as opposed to moving tokens to an exchange. And in this case, it is definitely a good thing because that investor moved their tokens to a self-custody wallet. The Ethereum address that sent the SHIB tokens was discovered to be a Crypto.com address, and the transfer was made across different accounts. It was also discovered that since March 1, that whale has been building ETH in their self-custody wallet. That wallet is now the third largest SHIB wallet in the world, and also the largest SHIB wallet that is not part of an exchange. This is crazy, and as I mentioned earlier, is a good thing. But why is this a good thing? Well, if this investor is moving their tokens to a self-custody wallet, it kinda seems like they are in it for the long haul. Most people who use self-custody wallets consider them the safer option, which means that if this investor is moving their tokens to a self-custody wallet, they are trying to keep them safer. And they would only be going through the stress if they don't plan on selling their tokens for a while. Speaking of whales, they have really been stocking up on their ship portfolio. For some reason, it looks like many of them are deciding to buy a lot more ship tokens at the same time. I mean, just two whales managed to purchase up to 1.2 trillion tokens worth more than $10 million. Remember that this revival is coming a couple of days after these whales dumped large amounts of ship tokens following the launch of Shibarium. At the time, it might have seemed to some like whales had finally lost their interest in ship, and people probably thought this because it was generally expected that whales would buy even more ship or hold the ones they had following the launch of Shibarium because of the idea that Shibarium is supposed to pump the price of ship. However, I explained in one of my videos that they were probably trying to cash in on their profits as the platform got launched, and were planning to make new investments. Well, it looks like we were right, doesn't it? Ship has taken a bit of a decline like the rest of the market. So, whales are using this as an opportunity to buy the dip, allowing them to get a lot more tokens than they usually would for the same amount of money. Anyway, of the two transactions, one was initiated by a whale with the wallet address Kvoth. The wallet purchased close to $900 billion for about $9.6 million. And just a couple of hours later, Blue Whale 73 purchased about $122 billion for about $1.2 million. If you have been in the Shiba Inu community for a while, you definitely know Blue Whale 73. Interestingly, as like the founder of Shiba Inu and the chief developer, the identity of this whale remains a mystery. However, this whale has remained one of the most consistent buyers and holders of the SHIB token. Granted, the whale has dumped SHIB sometimes to cash in on their profit, but that's to be expected. And they have never not had SHIB in their portfolio. So, whoever this whale is, they definitely believe in the potential of Shiba and you. But if you don't think so, consider sharing your thoughts in the comments section below. That said, can we expect all these whale purchases to improve the price of SHIB? Well, you could share your thoughts on that with us in the comments section. But as you're doing that, you might want to consider the fact that the price of SHIB has not exactly responded to the many purchases so far. This could be because of the general state of the financial market, though. But maybe we'll see the effects become visible when things settle down in the financial scene. Only time will tell, really. And before moving next, here's an important message for people who like easy money. A kind of report that shows that Shiba Inu's social activity spiked recently. This social activity is the highest that Shiba has hit in 90 days, which is really interesting because nothing particularly special has happened in the Shiba Inu ecosystem recently. Well, you today thinks it might have something to do with the fact that the Shiba Inu community as a whole is now responsible for defending the Shiba Inu project. If you have been watching the videos on this channel, you know that Shitoshi recently christened the entire Shiba Inu community the defense breed. What this means is that everyone who holds S. Hib now has the responsibility of combating false news and protecting the project against FUD -ders. Knowing this, it does make sense that Shib's social activities spiked recently. After all, the community's duty of combating false news and protecting the project against FUD -ders would be done on social media. What's more, there are now more people doing this. We're just a handful of people were considered part of the defense breed. Millions of people in the wider Shiba Inu community now have that responsibility. Of course, 
there would be a spike in activities. Something else that has increased in recent times is the number of shipholders. There are now more than 1.3 million shipholders, where we had about 1.2 million a couple of weeks back. Again, the increase in Shiba Inu online activities might have something to do with this. Or, it could be the fact that Shibarium has been launched and nobody wants to be left behind. But you could share your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Why do people keep buying SHIB? Anyway, with the increase in interest in SHIB and the increase in the number of people that hold SHIB, I believe it is safe to expect the price of SHIB to respond positively eventually. The token has the right ingredients for a price pump. And, if you think about it, the financial market also looks perfectly primed for a SHIB or crypto price pump. Remember that we said, in yesterday's video, that the banking crisis could be a great opportunity for the crypto market, including SHIB. For one, some people are losing faith in the banking system and might be looking for something that is safer, which could be crypto. Secondly, Bayan's CEO might be considering going into traditional financial banking. And if he does, the crypto market would benefit greatly from that, without a doubt. If you found this really valuable, please drop a comment and share this video with friends. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, thus helping me to keep increasing the quality of the videos. You know what's even more interesting about all of this? It seems like Satoshi Nakamoto, the anonymous creator of the OG crypto, Bitcoin, predicted the current bank crisis. Twitter user Anil said so has unearthed something that Satoshi mentioned back in 2009 after he launched Bitcoin. Now, if you know your history, you know that this was about a year after the financial crash of 2008. So, one wonders whether that factored into Satoshi's prediction. Anyway, here's part of what he wrote as posted by it. Anil said so. The root problem with conventional currency is all the trust that's required to make it work. The central bank must be trusted not to debase the currency. Banks must be trusted to hold our money and transfer it electronically. But they lend it out in waves of credit bubbles with barely a fraction in reserve. Bitcoin's solution is to use a peer-to-peer -peer network to check for double spending. The result is a distributed system with no single point of failure. So, it looks like Shitoshi did not, and probably still does not, trust the bank's model of storing money, particularly because there isn't much in reserves. He created Bitcoin to be able to circumvent it. It's crazy that something he talked about back in 2009 is playing out in 2023. What do you think, though? No. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.